हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू सुरेश अग्रवाल्स मैथमेटिक्स शॉर्टकट्स एन अमेजिंग वीडियो हियर इन विच आई एम गोइंग टू टेक अप सम ऑफ द वेरी वेरी स्ट्रेंज फैक्ट्स विच मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स डू नॉट नो एंड दिस दीज आर द फैक्ट्स अबाउट प्राइम नंबर्स नाउ चेकिंग वेदर अ पर्टिकुलर नंबर इज प्राइम और कॉम्पोजिट दिस इज वन ऑफ द कॉन्सेप्ट विच आई एम गोइंग टू टेक अप and then i'll take up two properties of prime numbers and i'm going to justify how these properties are obtained and or how you can verify those properties so watch the entire video till the end you know there are good things to learn in the video and if uh, you find the video useful don't forget to subscribe the channel and uh, uh, click the bell shape icon for getting the uh, notifications and don't forget to share it with your friends so that you know knowledge doesn't get restricted at one place and it uh, transmits right so how do you find whether a particular number is prime or composite let's take a simple example of a num number like 307 now i want to check whether this number is prime or composite so what am i going to do is i am going to find a number whose square is just about 307 so the number whose square is just about 307 15 square is 225 16 is 256 17 is 289 18 is 324 right so 18 square is 324 so i located this number 18 and that's all i need 18 now i'm going to list down all the prime numbers below 18 so these are 2 3 5 7 11 13 and 17 so these are the prime numbers which are below 18 and i have to just check whether this number 307 is divisible by any of these or not so obviously it is not divisible by 2 because it's a or it's an odd number and 2 will not divide this 3 7 3 is 10 so not divisible by 3 5 it does not end with 0 or 5 so not divisible by 5 Seven, seven fours are twenty-eight, so twenty-seven. So again, not divisible by seven. Eleven, eleven twos are twenty-two, and then eighty-seven, not divisible. Thirteen, thirteen twos are twenty-six, so forty-seven, again not divisible. And seventeen ones are seventeen, so one thirty-seven, not divisible. That means none of these prime numbers is a factor of three zero seven, and so we can safely say that. 307 is prime if any of these numbers divides 307 then it will not be prime let me take an example where we know that it is it is uh, not prime so i know that it is not prime so i because i know the factors but i will do it the same way so i need a square right um, let's let's make it more complicated i will rather go for here let's have 371 and now i want to check this so 19 square how much is 19 square it is 361 20 square is yeah so 20 square now below 20 we have 2 3 5 7 11 13 17 and 19 right now let's check 2 doesn't divide this obviously 7 plus 3 10 plus 1 11 doesn't divide 3 doesn't divide 5 obviously doesn't divide it 7 fives are 7 fives are 35 so 21 and there we go this number 7 actually divides 371 and therefore 371 is not prime now this is one of the ways you can check whether a number is prime or not obviously the divisibility rules have you have to be really thorough with those and if the prime number is big so you should know how to divide this number by that or check the divisibility of that number by this factor and uh, ensure that you are doing that in minimum amount of time so this is the way we do it this is the only way rather which is available to us for checking whether a number is prime or composite now if i take another example suppose 641 so which square is very close to 641 uh, 25 is 625 right and so 26 square 
that is 676 and below 26 you have all these prime numbers 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13 then we have 17, 19 and then we have 23 I think so these are the numbers you have to check the divisibility of 641 by all these numbers even if one of them divides it will not be prime so I will leave this as a DIY for you do it yourself question because I need to get into the properties also right so let's move on I will wait for your comments ok so 641 is prime or not you need to tell me the factor if it is not prime if it is prime obviously there will be no common factor right let's move on so we were talking about some strange facts which we don't know yet right so the fact is suppose p is a prime number then p square the square of a prime number is always of the form 24 times something plus 1 now this is the property which we have to prove why the square of a prime number is always 1 more than 24 times something and this something can be any whole number right so let's take an example to understand this first suppose you have a prime number like uh, 13 right so if you square 13 you get 169 and 169 can be written as 168 plus 1 and so 24 7 times plus 1 see 24 times something plus 1 so the square of the prime number 13 can be represented as 24 times 7 plus 1 every prime number will follow this particular property now let's understand why this property works for that we should know that every prime number p can be written in two forms one is 6 times something plus 1 and 6 times something minus 1 every prime number is always written in these two forms it has to obey these two forms where k can be anything but mind you whenever I tell you these properties no, we are not talking about 2 and 5 2 and 5 are obviously prime and we are not talking about these we are talking about the numbers which are above 5 ok so like if you put k equal to 3 6 3 is 18 plus 1 19 19 is prime if you put 7 7 6 is 42 plus 1 43 again prime so if this is not prime then this will be prime so either of the two forms will definitely work for a prime number ok now we are talking about the square of the prime number right so we have to square these 6k plus 1 and 6k minus 1 and before squaring it let me tell you that the number k here can be either even which is represented by 2m or k can be odd which is represented by 2m plus 1 so k can be either 2m or 2m plus 1 so if I put k as 2m I will get 2 cases here and 2 cases here how? when I put k equal to 2m here I will get 12m plus 1 and if I put k equal to 2m plus 1 in the same thing then I will get 12m plus 7 and similarly when I put 2m here I will get 12m minus 1 and finally when I put 2m plus 1 here I will get uh, 12m plus 5 so these are the various forms in which we can write a prime number ok now if I square this the square of this number obviously I will get a plus b whole square so I will have so many terms so what do I get here I get 144m square plus 24m plus 1 so I use the algebraic identity a plus b whole square right now between these two I have a 24 common which gives me 6m square plus m and then a plus 1 and look at this this is a whole number and so 24 times something plus 1 so again the square of a prime number 
this was the prime number so this one is prime number square and it is expressed in this form 24 times something plus 1 likewise if i take this part 12m plus 7 whole square you can again do it you can expand it 144m square and then 12 7s are 84 and double is 168 so plus 168m and then 49 7 square is 49 so what i can do here is 144m square plus 168m and then this becomes 48 plus 1 so between these three terms i can take a 24 common which gets me uh, 6m square plus 7m plus 2 and a plus 1 and see something so 24 times something plus 1 again that that rule which i told you it works for this also similarly try taking 12m minus 1 whole square expand it 12m minus 1 whole square and you will be again able to you will be able to express it in this form 24 times something plus 1 likewise this one expand it 12m plus 5 whole square you will again express it in the same form so you know when you go into something you know you start understanding things prime numbers are wonderful you know you, you have so many properties uh, we have written so many different alphabets here k p m we are using all sorts of notations to denote the prime numbers just to prove one property that the square of a prime number is one more than a multiple of 24. In my subsequent videos, I'll tell you one more way through which you can understand this property and you will uh, learn that, you know, these properties actually have a logic and they are not based on trial and error. So friends, do take like four digit numbers also and check whether they are prime or composite using the rule which I told you in my on my uh, previous slide and um, I'm going to, uh, I tell you there are questions in SSC exams where you are given four numbers and you are asked to find the number which is prime. So if the numbers are three digit and four digit numbers it will take a while uh, solving those questions and that is why we need so much of practice of uh, checking whether prime or composite. So do share this video and do practice this concept. Wait for my next video. Till then, all the best for your practice.